Today we'll design a very clean, simple and professional logo. So first what we need to do, select this ellipse tool, now press and hold shift and alt key on your keyboard, drag it and make a circle like that. Now go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Now drag it down by pressing shift and alt key again like this and now select them and here you can see those circles are filled with white color so click on none and keep only outlines now zoom it by pressing ctrl plus on your keyboard And now take this pen tool and from here you can draw curves like this way and now select this curve and from here click on smooth tool and move over it now take pen tool again click on this end node and give a shape like this it should be uniform and join here now select this again and take this smooth tool and move over it Now it looks fine. Similarly, take pen tool again and from here by making little bit distance from the end node, draw another curve like this and end it here. And from here, take it downward like this and match up with that. So click on this and then click on the end point and match up it like that. Now take this direct selection tool, click on this <coughs> anchor point and drag it. So here we can see still the curve is not much smooth. So select this and take this smooth tool and move over it. Until the curve is smoothened, it will not look nice. Now we need to draw one more curve. So take this and from here draw another curve and from here do like this and uh, make sure it is passing uh, through this point Now select this, rotate it little bit and make bigger in size. This curve should touch us here. Now here we need to make one more. So take this pen tool again and from here draw it like this and like this 
now select them all take the shape builder tool change the color from here and you can remove the outlines and just click here so here you can see it is completely covering so what we'll do put outlines again and let's correct it so now select them take this shape builder tool take color from here and click it you can change the color here click here this way make the shape now select this press shift key and select multiple objects and drag it now delete all those unnecessary things you can bring your object back to your position and remove the outlines now select this and this go to offset path offset path from here you can give offset so keep this much of offset okay change the color of offset from here now select this offset this offset and this one and from here click on minus front so we got a gap here and here now let us draw a tree here for that again take this pen tool and make sure you are making this tree from the middle so here is the center point center alignment so draw the tree from here and close this point now take this direct selection tool click on this point and drag it still this curves is not looking perfect so select this click on this uh, smooth tool and move over it and make it uniform shape now it looks great so we'll uh, rotate it little bit like this and now draw another curve from here and close the point now drag it by pressing alt key and make duplicate now select these two take shape builder tool and delete this area you can bring it more nearby like this take it this side more make it little bit smaller now let us draw the leaf so take this pen tool again and from here draw the lips like this now here we need to make one gap for the leaf so just by pen tool make a small gap like this now select both and minus front make it a little bit smaller and keep it here you can rotate it now duplicate it by pressing alt key and make it smaller in size and distribute the leaf you can click on reflect tool 
and reflect this leaf okay and make duplicate by pressing alt key and make it smaller and keep it here now bring one leaves here too make a little bit smaller in size so here also distribute more so here you will find many colors you can choose so I'm going to color book and from here I'll apply color so select this this and this and from here you can choose the color now select this this and you can choose the color from here Take it a little bit lighter and here for lips also you can choose color and make it smaller in size and keep on the middle and let's draw a rectangle from here to here and from here to here now select them and align to the center now select this and this take shape builder tool and delete this portion now change the color now it's time to export our logo so file export save for web so from here i'll increase the percentage let me give 250 and you can view it and make sure it is transparency and save it so i'll save it on the desktop now it's time to open your photoshop here is the option for layer click on layer option and on the first option double click it and now again go to open and open our transparent logo that we saved in our desktop here is the logo now drag this logo over to this mockup page and leave it here and mark this this unmark this background and close it now let us check the result wow it looks really great hope you like this tutorial you can subscribe us and see you in next video